are back in Costa Rica having a slight emergency. We just bought this new drone and we put it up in the air. I can't get it back, the wind's so strong. The wind is insane right now. All of a sudden picked up right as we put the drone up in the I'm air. I'm trying to fly it to us, it's just going further and further away. And you hear, you hear these winds? Yeah. Once you feel these winds, it just gets whipped away. See how it's going further away? Oh. Oh my god. Maybe we should just go to where it is and go land it? I don't know. It's wow. running out of battery really, really fast, too. But we're gonna have to go find it or something. It's a mile away. Are you kidding me? It won't even fly. Should I like, bring it down below the tree line? Yeah, that's probably best. But then I start, I'm like, like now I'm losing. Signal. Signal. Oh my god, I think we might get it. Come on, baby. I just don't want that wind to pick up and just whip it back out there. It went a thousand feet away in like 10 seconds. Whipped it right out. That's See, it's, it's going away again. Okay, that's where we are, right? Right over that tree line. I can see us, but it's going further. No, away. come back. There it is. Oh my god. Come back, drone. <laughs> Don't do that to us. Wow, just as it was running out of battery. Oh. You hear the warning? Yeah. They used so much battery just getting back. I think I got like two shots. Oh my god. You're crazy, bro. Oh, baby. Well, I'm glad we could bring a little bit of excitement into your morning. <laughs> but now... Welcome to Costa Rica. We're going to a cloud forest. So when I hear the name cloud forest, I think of a lot of water. Because yes. we're going to be walking around in some clouds. So the good news is this camera is actually weather sealed. But the bad news is this microphone... is not. And it's very, very delicate. So we're not going to bring the microphone today. I'm trying to not risk any more electronics after that little uh, scary morning. Definitely not. So, let's head to the cloud forest. We left the high elevation and mountains of Monte Verde, which has definitely been one of our absolute favorite, favorite parts of Costa Rica. We drove down through the rolling hills and the small little countryside towns and made it here to Lake Arenal. We found this absolutely perfect spot on the water. It is so, so surreal being here right now because this was one of the places that inspired Jordan and I to live this lifestyle and buy this bus. So we're having a lot of moments of nostalgia being here and we just came up to our camp spot for the night. We're right on the lake, totally off grid, only about 10 minutes from town and it feels so, so, so good being here. We have Lola running outside digging holes. We have Sarah climbing trees and we're about to get a little workout in. We haven't done that in a really long time, but we bought some new TRX bands when we were home. So we're gonna go break those in right now. I'm breaking down like the rain, like my worries on the wind. We should do a lot of body weight workout stuff while we're on the road. And it's really easy to do a lot of pushing. Push ups, dips, stuff like that. But it's really hard to pull. So we got these TRX bands. So we can get ripped! <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get ripped eating the way that we've been eating. We've been eating a lot of carrot cake, we've been eating a lot of fruits, a lot of sugar, a lot of wine. <laughs> you just did that for the video. There's nothing in here. <laughs> I finished it off. <laughs> and now we're gonna prove that to you by making biscuits. Guys, have we showed them yet? No. So you might be wondering, how are you going to make biscuits on this little two burner stove? We don't have an oven, for all of you guys wondering. So we met these people, they go by the name of Viva Oscar, and they had this contraption. It's Swedish, right? I don't know. It's too many details. Cut to the chase. Okay. 
There's and a Swedish pen. There's three pens. The no, top listen, is. Listen, shut up. <laughs> um. <laughs> potatoes are gratin. Ready? And you use it by heating up the pan on the. Sweet potatoes on the gratin. Sweet potatoes <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> Anywho, there's this pan and you can bake stuff on an oven. It's magical. So tonight, we're making biscuits. Back, yeah, dude, you just one of the times. Go over it. Biscuits are ready! You want to get them Yeah, I do. So this is the first time that we've ever made these, and we also don't have teaspoon measures yet. So we're doing it with pinches, like Grandma used to do, you know? Eight pinches is one teaspoon. So, let's see how they came out. Let's do it. Open that up. What do you think? I think we want to turn it off. Oh, I think they're done. They're think definitely so? done. Definitely done. All right, let's turn it off. Okay. All right, we're gonna let these biscuits sit. We don't really know what we're doing yet. <laughs> but we're really trying to make biscuits and eggs. And when the time comes, we're gonna do biscuits, gravy, with a braised pork and eggs. But this is just a test for the biscuits. Yes. Those, those, the pork stuff's coming, and the gravy's coming. Yes. But uh, we're gonna let these biscuits sit, and we're gonna fry up some eggs. Yep, maybe have, a little drizzle of oil and oh herbs Oh yeah, we're gonna make top. a little hot oil and herbs. Mm-hmm. And um, that's about it. <laughs> decided it'd be a really good idea to roll around in a big cow poop. So I'm just trying to get her to go in the water. I just rinsed myself off a little bit. I would have loved to swim, but if you look, it's like really swampy. So I feel like I have to get way beyond this little island and I'm not trying to do that right now. So, but first let's go see how these biscuits and gravy are doing. Ooh, baby. That was in the water. It's cold. How are you feeling about all this? I'm very, very, very excited about it. How this. do you think the biscuits came out? The biscuits came out really good. I already taste tested them. What? Sorry, I couldn't resist. Let's dig in. Let's eat. Cheers. Oh my god. Yummy gummy. Wow. Dude, this biscuit tastes like a biscuit. That Omnia oven's the best. We're making this every single day. By the way, the name of this oven is called Omni? Omnia? Omnia. Omnia? We'll put a link to it in the description for all you van lifers if you want to try to cook any type of bread, or if you basically just want anything in an oven. Carrot cake, bread, potatoes al gratin. So we're gonna enjoy this meal, it's a little snack. Mm -hmm. And then we're getting fancy. We're going out on the town tonight. We'll see you on the town. restaurant that we were here about three years ago at this point two and a half two and a half years ago when we first first came to Costa Rica and we fell in love with this place we were at this little restaurant on a peninsula on Lake Arenal and we had to take my girl Sarah here because we're trying to get her to fall in love with Costa Rica too so she'll buy a boss and come travel the world with us her and her boyfriend TJ <laughs> <laughs> or at least come live in our tiny house farm with us. Absolutely. Mostly just because her boyfriend is a farmer already. Yeah, and we need need his skills. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're gonna finish up our dinner here. We got some marks, got some drinks, <laughs> get some more wine in the bus. Tonight we're celebrating. We only have about three more nights together. Three more nights, three more nights together before we have to bring Sarah back to the airport in San Jose on Tuesday morning. So tonight is a night of celebration. Well you guys, we made it back to the bus. We ended our night with a few little tiny house YouTube videos. Sarah is already fast asleep. 
Jordan is on his way there and I am about to pass out. So for all of you guys that commented on our last video about the name of our new series, we called it Vida Gringo, which apparently we said it wrong. It's actually Vida Gringa because it's feminine, which actually sounds a lot better. It flows a little bit better, so I'm stoked about that. So we hope you guys loved episode two of Vida Gringa. And we'll see you guys really soon. A couple days, we have a tiny house tour coming up next from back when we were in Tennessee. We went to this awesome tiny house. We want to show it to you guys. So that's coming up next. And then we're gonna get right back to the adventures in Costa Rica. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. Adios.